chocolate all over this stuff. Yeah, I did. I certainly did. I got that chocolate all over the straw because I didn't like that straw and I wanted it to have chocolate on it. Right now my hands are sticky. Yeah. Well, so here we are. We are starting with the pole, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Where the patrons did it to me again. By which I mean I did it to myself by including an option that I shouldn't have. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me the give me the bad news. First let's 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 talk about this. The question was what to do with this voiceless S when it was in between a voiced R and a voiceless K. There were three options. One, do nothing. Two, voice the Z the S and the K, so just a whole voicing chain. And three was voice the S for some reason and leave it next to the K. Which option do you think I'd like the least? <laughs> you need to make it more obvious. Um, <laughs> well, the, the first one lost. This lost, up. which was just too bad, because I think it was honestly the most attractive of the three. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Sarska, but anyway. Um, barely coming in second place and therefore losing by one vote is Sarska. Sarska? It lost. lost by one vote. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Which means that Sarska won. Yes. It did indeed. And so now we're stuck with it. It appears so, yes. Okay. So what we're going to do here, hold on a sec. I'm just going to, because, oh, oh, by the way, we will um, we will pull up. Uh, we're gonna put up um, the the chat for as long as we can. In our experience, as you well know, it doesn't seem to go for very long. It's like the chat goes for a while, and then it freezes. Then I go to it, and then it like hurries up, and then pretty much it just and then pretty soon it just it, freezes. It dies altogether. It just dies entirely. Um, mm -hmm. So hold on a sec. I'm gonna. I'm going to tap to filter your feed, and it has the Hershey Company. Like, what are you doing, YouTube? Hey, but as you are thinking about life and all the mistakes you have made with giving too many choices. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Minnie is here today. I know Minnie hasn't been able to join in on the live streams as much, but happy, happy birthday to Minnie today. Um, and so that's exciting. Uh, and then coming up this week is Megan's birthday. No, Dark Horse's birthday. Megan, you'll get a shout out next week. Take Megan back. Yep. No, no birthday shout out this week. You get next nothing week. right now, Megan. Um, but Dark Horse, Dark Horse's birthday is coming up this week. So that is very, very exciting. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. And we're going to put this on live chat. So now. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Sazga wasn't an option. Sarsga was not. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, Cupcake Parade fixed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, David. Anyway, so obviously we're going to have to fix this now. Um, but <laughs> um, I, have, I have one idea. We'll see if anybody else has any other ideas. But, um, but also, we're on a couch right now. And it's one of those couches. You know, sometimes couches, like you can kind of sit anywhere on the couch. This is very clearly a three-person couch, and you don't want to sit on the middle in between and so, so i am here yeah so right now jesse's not on camera we're gonna see if uh we can somehow fix that in a bit but um anyway let's see here so let's go to our rule the rule that fricative has voicing that. assimilation fricatives adopt the voicing of whatever is adjacent to them Except for vowels, I guess. When two fricatives occur next to one another, the voicing of the first in the pair carries the day. When a fricative. Um, uh, now I got the chills after drinking a cold drink. These, I may have to get my sweatshirt. These nasty 
fricatives will even voice after a glide or approximate when occurring directly before a voiceless stop. Yes, you read that right. Yeah. All right. So let's see what the upshot of this is. Yeah, have you seen the downshot of it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, can you scooch the document over so that the right, right, are right, 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 side? right. Okay, okay. Um, I forgot about Ooh. that. I think it's like. I bet somebody's Ooh. home. I bet somebody's home. Guess what? That means somebody is going to come and make an appearance on the stream. Well, we'll see. I, I invited them to. But Maybe. Well, uh, well, what I. Dorian would, but Dorian's fast asleep, sleeping right through the, uh, the barking. Yeah. Um, so, hey. Guess what? We also have a cat with us. Well, there, there are three cats with us, but one that's likely to jump up here pretty soon. He joined me during my class today on Zoom. Oh, it's wonderful. And he walked across the keyboard and typed some messages in chat on the way. Mm. It's very <laughs> exciting. Okay. So then we have S and K. We already know what happens with H. Oh, the movement of the dog killed chat. Man. Let's see if that, if that does something. Um, so let's... <laughs> Boy, Jesse, are you hungry? <laughs> Todd's barking. Your tummy is making some noise. Sounds like two dogs. All right. So. Mm -hmm. um, well, where are we now? Like, of, what uh, are we going to do? Ours are strong. Oh, Ragdoll, we're at a friend's house, and so this does not. Roman and Kelly are not here at all. Yeah. Wrong state. Yep. We've got. That you hear Howl and Todd. <laughs> Those are the two dogs. Uh, and then the three cats. Dorian is the one who will probably come up at some point and say hi. And then there's Aria and Lulu. Oh, yeah, they are all sorts of excited. Oh, goodness. Todd and Howl. Okay, I, I think I may be missing something. But what happens to this? Sarka. Ours are strongest. Ours are strong one. Oh, um. It they delete, don't they? Do they? Does it sarka? Does it um? Does the X become just a? a rrr? Yeah, the R's are gonna take over. Okay, we just didn't write that example up here. Our example was N. I guess the thought was, well, if it's going to do it to N, it's going to do it to everything else. But, um... Yeah, yeah the dogs are excited that we're creating a cat link. I think I better... Okay, I'm going to go see down. if I can calm them down. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And so, David, I trust you with the document. Yeah. It's ready. Darn it. Hold on a sec. Gotta make this etc. super small. A package, a package. But what could it be? I'll tell you what it isn't. It isn't our Copico. Uh, which was forgotten, of course. Okay. We do have a different reward, and I'm excited for you to see it when the time comes. Which means we'll have to very carefully get it and bring it in for the Oh, yeah. It'll work. Okay. So then, uh, so yeah, the R's are strong, so that takes care of that. So really, uh, it's only this Z issue. And so I'm going to show you what you all have pushed me to. You're not going to be happy about this. Jesse's not going to be happy about this, let me tell you. Um, 
I think Jesse's going to be furious, but really I don't see any way out of it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just a little high. Just a little high. Oh, there's Dorian. Oh. No. Here. Oh, you better catch him fast. He's about ready to run. Dorian. Off. Dorian, come on back. Come here. Oh, there's a good cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know it gives you the scratches. You know it gives you the scratches. I, I don't yeah. think the camera's going to be at the right angle. What? There really? we go. Oh, Dorian, come back. Come back. And yeah, the camera was so the wrong angle. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> you barely see his head. There we go. Oh, yes, Dorian very specifically got his name. Such a beautiful boy. He just wants to go back to that windowsill. There's nothing there. There is nothing there. <laughs> My goodness, he keeps savaging it. Uh, well, I think they're, the geckos are back right outside the window. <laughs> and so they, they're trying to jump through the window. Oh, is that why they call him Dorian? Because he's gray? Yeah, Dorian Gray. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. That was just, uh, it's always been my favorite name. Dorian? Yeah. Or Gray? Dorian. Uh-huh. It's kind of ruined by the mask. Now, I'm going to get warm. Yeah. We're okay. living, we're, we're uh, staying with friends who like to keep it as an ice box. Well, I was fine until I, I drank the, the cold drink from Starbucks. David got me a cold Starbucks drink. It's absolutely beautiful outside. No reason to have the air conditioner on. And certainly no reason to turn it on at night oh, when it's freezing cold. And they're like, we need it to be colder in here. My that is goodness. so not how they talk. No, I know. I was just, uh, was just defaming goodness. them. Uh-oh, there's walkers. You know what that means. Oh. Hal is going to protect us from the walkers on the street. <laughs> Hey, Carl. Okay. Okay, okay. I am <laughs> back. Hal is barking yep. again. No, no voicing would have fixed it. Um, I but, am also so, yeah. in the wrong place in the document. I need to find us. Well, you better find us in a hurry because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. And You're about to kill everything that we just did? Well, no, no, no. I'm not going to kill everything that we just did. I'm going to introduce a sound change that is going to have far-reaching consequences and that you're not going to like. I mean, you might. It'll be a, a little throwback to the old days for you. What to where days? you... Uh, where you spent some time where you uh, studied abroad? In Germany? Yeah. Now, what do we know about German? That it's a gorgeous language? Yeah. I mean, uh, it's middle of the road. And I think everybody <gasps> knows that. It's a middle of the road language. It's certainly better than Dutch. Everybody knows that, even Blasphemy. with taste, would agree. <laughs> but what do they do with their Z's? Well... They, they do, don't they? Africate. Yes, they do. So are you... They do that in all positions, don't they? I'm trying to think of any potential examples where it doesn't happen, but no, I think it happens everywhere. That's right. So you know what's happening next, don't you? It's fine. Our Z's are going to go to Tsa. That's right, our Z's are going to go to Tsa. It's going to be an across-the-board sound change. Wait, does that mean that you're, you're essentially trying to figure out how to get rid of Sarska? Sarska? That's right. I can't do it. That's, well, Sarska. nobody can. Nobody can. And now this is what's happening. This is what you've pushed us to. So, cross the board sound change. Z is going to T everywhere. Everywhere. Did you see Matei's comments? That's right. See, you're going to lose us. <laughs> <laughs> Lose us people because you're main. <laughs> okay, so is this before or after the... Okay, okay, because we don't have the Z yet in that position. It's going to turn we from actually, Sarska that's to actually, Sarska. We actually do have the Z in that position because theoretically we could have a protoform that was like that. It's going to take care of that one too. Um, so uh, 
we're, uh, we're essentially killing two birds with one stone. My sweatshirt smelled like campfire smoke for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, and now that it's clean, it just smells so good. Mm, mm. Makes me happy. By the way, did you wash my 100 jacket? No. So it still smells like smoke. I guess so, because <laughs> it wasn't out. <laughs> I don't oh, even know where it man. is. Oh, man. But my sweatshirt doesn't. That's all that matters. Yeah. And by the way, I, I'm pretty sure Mateus heard this, but that was uh, that was a running joke in Arabic with my, my second Arabic professor, whose name was Ray. You know, Ray was the first one. Uh, he was John Hayes, uh, but uh, he, he said this once in Arabic class, Arabic class. He says, everybody who speaks a different language, they all think their language is beautiful, and they're all correct, except the Dutch. Oh, that is horrible. <laughs> I really like Dutch, by the way, just FYI. Yeah, it's uh, rude. All right. I am. Um... I'm really horrible at pronouncing yeah. Dutch. Ooh, but what? I do my best. So uh, uh, Carl meant to say Dutch is better than Esperanto, but then he said Escoranto, and now I wonder what Escoranto would be. Better than Sangaili. Ooh, <laughs> snap! That's right, Carl. She you, got you, Carl. You hate on Dutch, <laughs> man. Come back biting. <laughs> What's we need to come up with something? I, I can't even think of a of an insult in that. I can think about how to say things that have not that aren't really. Uh, maybe I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Was that artifact? I don't know. No. <laughs> Okogaha is artifact. Okogaha, and Tawarutu is the great journey. Tawarutu. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my favorite thing is we took domo for human from the game, and then the word for uh, an, uh, a, a marine, you know, one of those dudes, is tadomo, which comes from the word for head, which is used for an augmentative, but it looks like it's a chad human. <laughs> nice. Okay, so all right, let's let's. I don't know. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get Jesse in on this, the, and the and the great the I best have to thing. Sit close to you. The best thing is that <laughs> there is. A, I hope I don't need to type. We're gonna like. There's a leg rest for the left seat and the right seat, but not the middle. So I have the right <laughs> leg rest up, and I'm kind of <clears throat> straddling here. Okay. All right. So then, um, I hope it's... Um, we need to have a, a full Dutch appreciation day. We, we do, and it's going to feature a lot of croquetten, which is the most amazing thing I ever found. Nice. And uh, in the Netherlands. Oh, just wonderful. Oh, according to Index Diachronica, the exact sound change Z to TS before an R happened in a Tibetan language. That's kind of fun. Before or after? Um, oh, goodness. Also, there are a lot, if you look up what happened to Z, there are a lot of times where Z just goes to D. And you're like, that's weird. I just realized how bad my, mm. my eyes were. I was looking out the wrong side of my bifocals and couldn't read. Uh, no, I didn't, Matisse. Um, I. Uh, Ooh, it's FIBO. Yeah, actually, I want to know. Um, and it was R and then the Z. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So Arza became Arta. Yeah. Okay. However, however, uh -huh. that wouldn't fix it after L, and it wouldn't fix it after Y and W. What if we said it happens after the approximants? Are Are we going to do this everywhere? Sorry. Are all everywhere. Z's going to be Z's now? Everywhere. That was their punishment. <laughs> so you're killing the Z's. I'm just killing the Z's. S is our strongest, and then we need to put, we need to put the. Z's used to be strong in between the R's and the S's. See, R's are strong part two, and then it need to, needs to be Z's used to be strong, and then S's are strongest, and show show what happens. Well, no, because this is one sound change, right? Um, this is one sound change. Um... Fibo is a legendary fast food chain that's basically vending machines, but for fast food snacks, you put money in a slot and a croquette comes out. Okay, so... Um... 
I, I will say this, Mateus. I walked. I was just walking along the street, and I saw a bunch of those, a, a bunch of those things. Like it was just a wall, and there were these little drawers, and they had food in them, and then you could put in money and, and get it out. But I didn't think that was like part of a restaurant. I thought it was just like a random wall that that just happened in in your country. <laughs> just um, a wall of food. Yeah, like it was just a thing, you know, like, you know, there's just some places and like you could just get food out of the wall if you put money in. Um, like, you know, just expanded vending machines. I didn't realize that that was actually a part of like a rest, a specific restaurant, uh, ne uh, let alone a chain. Um, so I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it. I didn't get anything at the time because we had come from dinner and um, and I was full, but I was mighty tempted. I saw a croquette. It was pretty late. And so I didn't know, like, if it would still be good or anything. Like, I think it was after 9 p.m. Um, I have to see. Oh. Oh, 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 Jesse. These things are incredible. These things are incredible. They're, it's like ground up uh, beef, potato, and cheese with spices. And then I was told, the taste you can confirm whether this is true or not, that the way to eat it is to take, uh, like, a big bread loaf and you kind of slice it in half and then you mash it on that and then you eat it like this yeah just like that uh myself i didn't prefer that i didn't need all that bread uh so i just ate it like a fish stick and it was wonderful yes. well apparently macaroni and cheese balls are, are quite popular in lots of places but i that was my first time last night having a deep fried yeah. mac and cheese ball um, and then you dip it in cheese for all the cheese. But it's but kind yeah, of, I'd never had it before. It's similar to that in in structure. Uh, it, it's a little bit more cohesive because, of course, macaroni and cheese can be quite large. Um, whereas, like, there's nothing. There's no large bits inside of a of a croquette. Um, but uh, just wonderful, mm. absolutely wonderful. I, I think I don't I understand like why they're not popular in the U.S. They should. I be. would like it with mustard as well. Mm. Hmm. That's how Mateus eats it. There's a food place here that sells white bread sandwiches out of the side of a building called Wonderwall. So that's that's what the song miles. is about. Nice. Okay, okay. We should probably think more about language and less about food because now I'm getting hungry. Bitterball and I had, I did have. I didn't prefer it. Where are you gonna write the? T t t uh, yeah, change. it's it's a it's a question about where it's going to occur. Do you want to take away the solsta light. now that it's like part of our header? Or do we want to leave it there just because it's so doggone cute? We'll leave it there for right now. It's a good uh, break in between Perfect. the great vowel squish. Um, so it's going to be pretty late. Ooh. Okay, now I have to look up bit of button. Okay, now I just want to like go to Europe and eat some food. We can do it. Ooh, these are Dutch meatballs. Three days Ooh. from neutralization. Well, I guess I'm going to put it last. I kind of want to put it here, but we haven't done the Great Val Squoosh yet, so I don't know. No, so I'm just going to put it as the very last sound change. Okay. Mateus, what is the story about Cas... I'm going to say it wrong, but I'm going to try my best. Ka souffle. Ka souffle. Dutch cheese. Where is it? Things. Here. Hmm. Look at these beauties. Oh, ka souffle. Did I say it right? Um, See, now I'm just looking up all the things that other people looked up when they looked up this food. And I'm like, oh my God, there's so much good food on here. Hmm. Whew. Oh, Japanese pumpkin ones. Ooh, nice. The sound change. Oh, the taste says it's disgusting. Okay. And devastating. I'm I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, I um I I uh I looked at that. I didn't uh I thought it looked good. They they reminded me of little toaster strudels, but instead of fruit, cheese was on the inside. So I thought maybe that was what it was like. How? Oh. How? Oh, come here. Someone had the audacity to park a car across the street. Mm. Mm. 
And they're just standing there. I know. And there's like a kid walking across the yard. Ugh. The audacity. <laughs> like you, you actually want to go home or something. All right. How? It's okay. Uh, another thing by your description, Matthias, it sounds like it should be very popular in the United States. Um, but the croquetin really surprised me. Like, those should be ubiquitous in the United States. If, if people found out about them here, like, Cupcake it'd be all Cupcake has a suggestion for you to, to fix that. Exceptionless, devastating, and wonderful. <laughs> I know, right, Miles? Okay, just, I'm going to go see if I can calm Calm the puppy down. Oh, they're taking in their trash can as well. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Trash cans are going in. All right. Oh, yes, yeah, Stroopwafel. Those finally are hitting, uh, are getting more popular here in the United States. Uh, strope waffle. Uh, but no, they don't do the W to V thing there. Strope waffle. It's really hard to do uh, Dutch coming from German because it's like all the, you have to learn all these things about this sound is actually pronounced like this. And then in Dutch, it's just like, ah, it's just pronounced the way it looks. It's like, crap. <laughs> Spent all this time learning that Z is tsa. Okay. The caddish pronunciation of Z, as we call it, as the Germans call it too. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay, so um, now the question is, um, we don't yet have any palatals, right? No. We just have yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that is a palatal. Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay, so then... Are, are we just going to do the thing, though, that like N becomes N-Y before a yeah? Um, well, it'll never, uh, kind of will. I tried. That's all right. Look, it's, it's a dog. That's what they do. Okay. There's that. And now. Uh, <laughs> it's like, ooh, that alveolar P. <laughs> okay. I should have gotten water when I was standing up. Shame. All right. Okay. So is this is there anything? So then we have like something like Saska will become Saitska, which will become Saitska, right? I think. Did we do? I don't remember. Uh, what are our rules for uh, glides following things? I don't Post glide think central vowel annihilation. Okay, no. Vowel glide merger. Here we go. In the A. A. So, A goes to A, but I. Oh, nothing happens with I, I and I. I. Yes. Okay. I and ow. Okay. I forgot about that. They really Sounds need to just get inside their house and stop, you know, trying to water plants. And... Mm. There they go. There they go. Whole family going in. That's right, Hal. You scared them off. Wait a minute. Let's come outside some more. Let's just walk around so that the dogs can see us. Well, if that's what you want. Are you narrating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's over here? I've never seen this before in my entire life. <laughs> well, that's, son, that's the southwest corner of our deck. <laughs> you are so... <laughs> goodness oh. gracious. Oh, oh my goodness. It's almost done. It's almost done. The door is closed. All right. Ooh, good job, Hal. Good yeah, job. you chased them away. They're terrified of you. All right. Um. So we need to. Well, actually, uh, Jake, that's kind of a thing we always need to do. Jake says we need to check for minimal pairs, 
And you know what we sure do. By the way, uh, give me a shout if you see chat freezing or anything. You know, we, we want to keep it up for as long as possible. Um, I think chat's been frozen a while. Really? Yeah, because you see the little red dot there. Yeah. Da -da -da. Got it. All right. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, I had a cat that used to shout ring, 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 before she... <laughs> Popped up a hairball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, so I think that we've almost got everything. Yeah. Trying to get me to cough up a hairball. <laughs> I wanted to hear if you went hang hang eye first. <laughs> Actually, if it's before coughing up a hairball. Look at Matesa's comment. Raccoon on a balcony. Raccoon on a balcony. Pictures, Ooh, please. Ooh, yeah. Pictures. Please do. I'll we'll we'll put pictures of all the animals in this house into the into the pets channel on Discord. Okay. Um, I think that we've almost done everything that we want to. The question is, let's just it's just a top level question. Do you want uh, like sh and j? and things like that in this language. Always. Okay, so you do. So we need to figure out how that's going to happen. Okay, Parade says you did a good job imitating the, the hair ball. <laughs> I've been around the block when it comes to cats. I know what they do. Um, okay, so you do want sh and ja, and maybe ch and ja in this language. But can we? I forget what we did as far as our rules for... Um... I guess it could be cross syllables, huh? Cross boundaries. Yeah, which means that we would never get it in initial position. Because we we kind of have a limited syllable structure, if I remember correctly. We don't have any um, CC clusters. Now um, we. No, no, we wouldn't have that. Uh, like, I mean, there, there's always the extremely aggressive move of having it occur before, like, E, but, um, but we don't have an E, but we do have the central E. Yeah, no, I mean, eventually we will have that vowel, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it would eventually be, a, it, it would be a later yeah. sound change. And so it would be, you know, like, uh, you know, like Japanese, um, where you just have, you know, sha and used to be ja, but it's now ja in very limited uh, circumstances. Um, and then we would also never have C, and uh, we'd also never have uh, T either. That would always end up as chi. As C, as um, she and chi. Yeah. So we wouldn't have C. Yeah, if we if we found a way to do it earlier, we could rescue some of the Z's by making them Z's. Oh, we should do that. Okay. So have an earlier sound change, but it's pretty much only going to be medial. Yeah, it'll only be medial. Uh, kind of like how English doesn't like Z unless it's medial <laughs> or a borrowed word. Yeah. All right. Well then. <coughs> Excuse me. One possibility is, of course, just, um, you know, S and Z go to Sha and Ja before Ya. Uh, and same with T and D go to Cha and Ja before Ya. Um, and uh, you're right. Oh, sorry, go on. It, it could only be intervocalic because it would only be when Ya is the first uh, consonant of a syllable followed by the last consonant of a syllable. Um, I, I was also interested in, in finding out from Grindel what the uh, Mythbusters episode was about. Yeah, man, I hardcore watched Mythbusters all the time for a time. Ooh. Oh, there it is. There's the, the raccoon. I, I went to Discord because Matei said. Yeah, and by the way, it's, uh, it's permanently, it's permanently frozen now. It's uh, so it's, there's no fixing it at this point. 
also let's see what happens if i do this matisse is absolutely right that merry-go-round is an amazing noun that was also in discord chat oh look at this so i can type in a discord and it will I, yeah no into a and it's showing up in but um we don't see any of the responses running on water like as in you just run fast enough you run across water yeah. so now i can say whatever i want oh now no one else can say anything <laughs> yeah. Um, you yeah. no that's not gonna work <laughs> She's excited because now, now her mom's home, and so she's very excited. If you notice the difference in the bark. Oh, all good. All right, but yeah, looks like we are. Uh, we're not going to have chat. So, what else can we put there? Your headshot. Ooh, do you remember that no idea. that one picture you you randomly pulled up while you were looking for a link to a picture of you? It's like mm. a drawing or something. A drawing of me? No, it was like of a a fox or a something, and I was like, that oh. should be your headshot. Oh, that's Crazy Coyote. Yeah, Crazy Coyote. That's who you should put there. All right, um, I can do that. You're right. <laughs> Miles, is this the catling or the chatling? You know what? Let's see. It works. What is it like? Mm, wrong one. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Jonathan has a wonderful new cat. Mm. And also, that's Joe the there, lion. Oh, that's I was Joe like, the lion. Let's see. There's me and Aaron. There There's we go. That's coyote. it. That's it. All right, here we go. And Jake, you're absolutely right. It can't be the chat link because we can't get the ch at the beginning of a syllable. Okay, so now I just need to uh, to line it up. There we go. Perfect. There's Crazy Coyote. You're keeping us company. My alter ego. All right. So, where are we going to put this sound change? Um, well, do you want to do that or do you want to do something more adventurous? What do you mean? Uh, well, we can. Uh, What's we, more adventurous? Well, we can produce things in other, uh, you know, instances. For example, <gasps> Minnie, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to Minnie and me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> not really to me yet, but. <laughs> Hang on, Jonathan says he had an idea he put in chat earlier about uh, palatalization. Can you pull that up? Mm. In chat or in Discord? I, I think it may have been, oh, in Discord in chat, or in chat in Discord? That's what I assumed. No, it would have been Okay, well, Jonathan, you're just going to have to say it again because... Uh, some, yeah, sorry. Some other ideas are oh, for... Oh, oh. Word final S, word initial J, fuse as sh. Yeah, I mean, that's that's essentially, that's what we were saying. Um, that, that was the sound change that we were talking about doing. Um, but some other ideas are, excuse me, um, yeah, uh, S and Z go to sh and j before stops so this would just be like german but expanded to the voicing region as well so like asta would become ash ashta and also asda would become ajda but it means that we would never have so this is the bad asterisk we would never have asta but we would also never have sarska in the first place would be Sarska. Oh. 
It would have to be between a vowel and... Yeah, that would produce... Oh, boy. Hmm. Then we'd have a whole other set of... I think it needs to be limited. I think, like, I want these to be in the language, but super limited. Okay. Well, uh, but you know what we can do then? If it's going to be limited, then that uh, gives us the opportunity... You know, it's kind of like setting up the canon in Act 1. It's like, all right, well, if you're going to have S and Z go to Sh and Z only before uh, an initial Y, and this is going to be a suffix of language, we got to have some suffixes mm -hmm. that start with Y um, so that we can get some, you know, you know, get some bang for this buck, you know? Um, and so Jonathan was pointing out that what he was saying is actually have a happen in between words not just in the same word between syllables nah, that's boring i mean that's a that's a what, what do you call it a just a thing that it happened like it does in english like we have that sound change in english but we never write it like um, i miss you yep i miss you huh 70 stones that was, so was not what I was thinking, but okay. You know the song? I've been hanging on alone. I've been blah, 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 because I miss you. Gotcha. Except miss you. <laughs> so one of the, the example songs that I would play for my students was Hootie and the Blowfish, I Go Blind, because it's every time I look at you, I go blind. Hmm. And so I would I'd play that. But they do it two different ways. The first time they sing it, they say at you, and then the second time is at you. Mm-hmm. Why well, thank That's you, Minnie. <laughs> at you. All right. Uh, okay, so let's see. Um, it would have to be before the vowel glide merger or somewhere around here. Basically when all the vowel stuff happens, after that it, it would be like the same time as this sound change so maybe put it right after them yeah hi true art seven I don't know if that seven is important uh, okay so palatalization Producer. No, you're right. Palatalization. Okay. No, I don't know. Palatal producer no, is kind of fun too. Sense. Palatal productions. Okay. Consonant uh, plus alveolar goes to plus palatal. Actually, no, because this is a. Uh, it's not in the environment of it's I mean we could have two sound changes and say that then it deletes but essentially we're doing this thing to okay um, alveolar uh, well then we have just one little baby question to answer yeah so we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Alveolar, let's just say alveolar uh, consonants merge with um, the palatal glide to produce alveo palatal consonants. Nice. Um, and so now the question that we have to answer is, um, uh, With like a an off glide, like okay. instead of thank you, more like thank you. Mm. Uh, so uh, the question we have to answer is what about R and L? I mean L, we have the palatal. What about R? So it's like you know, we're looking at uh, Maria. It's just gonna say Maria. 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 I don't know, Marja. Could, could, could become a ja too. Maja. 
Oh, get rid of the R and Y and put them together as a Z. Yeah. Maria, Maja. I mean, I like Maja better, but that's also because I can say it better. Let's do it. Um, okay. The um... Aw, thank you, True Art. Glad you joined in today. Yeah, I'm glad to hear from you. Um, it's mostly predictable. Uh, Pred <laughs> predicable. It is predicable. It liked it. <laughs> because it is predicated on something. Doesn't that mean it's predicable? Uh, I suppose you're right. It's the most predictable. But not the sequence of the animal. Uh, becomes. What's funny is true art. You're like fixing the typos that I didn't even see. Like whenever I read it, I just like my brain filled in everything that it was supposed mm -hmm. to be there. And so like as you're fixing, it, I'm going back. Like where was that? <laughs> my brain just skipped right over. But I am gonna look up predicable because now I'm like very excited. Yeah, maybe predicated or affirmed. Oh boy, well. It's predicable. Wow, it's, once we get to the grammar, we're gonna have to talk about what is and is not predicable in this language, because I have some thoughts. Um, so that's a good word. In Aristo um, Aristotel Aristotelian logic, you have the predicables. Oh. That's Genus, exciting. species, difference, property, and accident. It must have been so fun to be in the era of the Greek philosophers where you could just kind of make up anything. And just say, yeah, this is probably like this. Okay, so Jake yeah, we'll, is asking what about L. Yeah, we'll get the we'll get the Lya, Malya, Malya, the the you know the The Lambda. Yeah. Um uh we, we could ask what happens just for funsies. Do we want uh that to just stay a geminate? Malya. I mean I think probably yeah, let's do nothing with that because it'll only show up for one thing. Yeah, because it would only show up after the I. Yeah. Okay. Oi. All right, so let's put these in green. We have the sh, j, and y. Are we actually going to get ch and According to my records, yes. Oh, because it's going to come from the T and D. Sorry, in my head I was thinking you wanted it to come from the Z, and I was like, but that won't have happened yet. There we go. But no, I get it now. Thank you. I understand, true art. I do the same. Did you happen to put that little lambda anywhere in here? Ooh, that's a wonderful question that I am now going to... Mm. I'm going to say no. Where? Because where would it be? That's all right, I got it. I did it with the other thing. Ugh. I need to redo it now. i got to redo the keyboard layout. No, please don't. No, oh, but wait, what else was it that you wanted added? There was something else you were like, why didn't you put that in? I don't remember. Yeah, you do. You just don't want to say it you don't want me to redo it. <laughs> no, I really don't remember. Okay. Um, by the way, have we killed this uvular yet or no? Mm, I don't think we have. I don't think so. Huh. But no, no, because we haven't done anything below that. I guess we just talked about it quite a bit because because I totally at first thought we had, but no. Yeah, I guess not. Salsa. Okay. Um, let's so. We definitely need to keep uh -huh, which um, would mean that we're going to have the uvular place of articulation at all times. So now do we want 
a distinction between ka and qa? No. Okay. So then... But Cupcake Parade is right that the qa is a good hairball cough noise. It is. It or is. Or should I say Cupcake <laughs> Parade? It's right. <laughs> okay. But uh, it is one of the things, because there are a lot of different little pieces that can lead us to the great vowel squoosh uh, and lead us to our vowel harmony. And one of them is the uh, forcing the distinction between k and k onto the vowels and off of the consonants themselves. So could be, yeah, the last thing before the great vowel squoosh. I mean, Jonathan has a, a keyboard layout. I think we're happy with our keyboard yeah. layout just because we know where things are. But if anybody else would be interested in that, maybe that's something that you could share on Discord because keyboard layouts can be fun. Yeah. I really did think, you know what I need to get out? Do you remember I made a cheat sheet for you and for me? Do yeah. you remember that? Because we already have the vowel lowering. We have the vowel lowering. So that's good. That already happened. So then, loss of Z, loss of Q. There. <laughs> I'm double checking. I do remember I made a keystroke guide. Yeah, incidentally, uh, mine is not the updated one. Remember, you updated it again, and I haven't put it here. I thought you did. I thought the one at home is the one that you didn't do it on yet. Oh, that one, I didn't do your original update. Oh. Oh. You've done two updates. And let me find one that, prove, that will prove it. Guessing, guessing there's no, ooh, but I did do a syllabic consonant. That's exciting and a That's voiceless. That's right, a syllabic consonant, is that, is that the uh, comma? Um, yes. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So uh, that was a, a further update. Mm. Um. But yeah, I now I really kind of want to add the lambda because that would be helpful, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, K. K. She's ignoring me. You're ignoring me? <laughs> I was going to say the time is near at hand. For what? For cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> Get ready. You were, you were like so concerned. Like, what's going to happen? I was wrong. I'm a warrior. <laughs> I was like, did I do something? I thought I was in trouble. And, <laughs> and we've got variety, so we've got to pick who gets what, what flavor. Yep. Like, it's going to be home zone with wings. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, yes. Uh, wings off. I didn't know what y'all wanted. Oh, oh. Definitely oh, no. I think oh. they had. I'll definitely share some of mine. They, did you get any dry rub? <laughs> he's done he's so over Aww. it but like but we sauce. are we are gonna have cheesecake yeah you bet cheesecake is our copico of the day cheesecake pico Ooh. Man. okay so here we go we got this i think we've taken care of almost everything um I think we're ready for the great vowel squoosh. Are we ready? I think so. Yeah. Dun, da, da, da. Do you we... do you want to handle the the great vowel squish as I Hold as on. I get cheesecake? Yeah. Let uh, did we let me let me just make sure did we do these two? Sorta and maha. I thought we took care of that. I thought we did too. With the up here. 
Is, uh, L is weak, H is weakest. So, it, it, so it, it's just going to... It just drops out? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's write that down. So uh, it just completely drops, right? So select that. And, and that we don't do because the, the everywhere column is not what we ended up doing. Because we only did only voiced. Okay, yeah. so we can delete this column. I think you, you just kept it for like... Yeah. And maha. So we have the geminate H, just like we have the geminate Y and a geminate W on occasion. Now here's an interesting question. Has anybody ever done the cheesecake in cupcake form? Yes. Really? I have. You have by yourself? Made cheesecake cupcakes, yeah. Really? Yeah. And you've They're made really... them for me? No. Well. Well. <laughs> Didn't know you were that into cheesecake. I love cheesecake. I love it. It's wonderful. The only thing that I don't like is some of the really, really like hardcore authentic cheesecake that still tastes like cheese. You know those? Yes. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Well, that's because there's not enough sugar for you. That's right. <laughs> but whenever I do get up, you want strawberry swirl? Or did you want wild berry? Uh, well, there's also the chocolate varieties. Well, you know I'm getting one of those. Yeah, I guess I'll take strawberry squirrel. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I'll be back. No, no, no. I'm saying I said strawberry squirrel. Oh, did you? <laughs> That's what I meant. Not, not I wasn't like commanding you to get up and get No, I said strawberry squirrel. <laughs> That's funny. Um, but I am going to get it because I'm getting really hungry the more we talk about this. So. I tried Polish cheesecake. No, what's, um, and I've been to Poland twice. Uh, yeah, and just get the, the regular squirrel for Minnie. Is that yeah. excellent? Uh, what, no, what's Polish cheesecake? I'm, I'm interested. Um, I, evidently, they were holding out on me when I was there. Yeah, I, I think that the squirrels hit the strawberries a little hard, in my opinion, Minnie. So you're right to go with the regular. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say that Miles did not intend that cupcake parade. <laughs> oh, cheesecake, my cheesecake. We better write down all the vowels we got. Okay, so it's a bit lighter than German cheesecake, but I've never had German cheesecake. What, what's what's the what's the deal with German cheesecake? What do they do different? And then these are two words I don't even know. Twarog, that looks Hungarian. Oh no, it, well, okay. And then quark. Okay, let's get all the vowels. Okay, I'm gonna put them. Okay, here we go. There they are. Hey, Blake. Hello. So just uh, just FYI, we're we're live streaming here. Hello. Yeah, that's that's Blake. Um, I already I already showed them your computer and. Um, nice. I took them into your room and Perfect. showed them your own vegetables, you know. That's fine. Right on. I don't have unvegetables, just vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were supposed to put this in the fridge, so give it that time to thaw. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, before you eat it. Right? It was still in the freezer? Well, yeah, just just pop it out. Let it let it sit for a little bit. I mean, how frozen is it? It's a, it's a brick. 
Well, yeah, just 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 pop it out. Set it on the counter for a little bit. Oh, no, I haven't heard the King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album, Miles. Is it good? And I will tell you this. Uh, I have very specific preferences when it comes to King, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Absolutely love... Uh, Oh shoot! What's it called? The the one that with the with the die on the front, Nonagon Infinity. That's that one I like. A lot of the stuff that sounds super different, I'm cool too. So if this is another one like that. I'm excited. I certainly love the font on the front. It's incredible. Okay. Well, you know what she could do? You could you could turn the hot water on and run it over the packaging. You know she what I'm saying? Totally. Totally <laughs> she already took the packet, the plastic, like, saran wrap stuff off of it. Because that would make a hot mess. <laughs> you would melt the cheesecake. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. I think so. I'm more familiar with Tuaro, which also reminds me a bit of queso fresco. This guy's talking about cheesecake that I don't even know. Yeah, True Art's saying put it in the microwave and um, Oh no. I mean, you know, you put it you put it in there for like seven seconds, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now this is a you just pick this thing up with your hands and and bite into it. You just I'll, I'll pick it up when you come and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Ozadaya. Mmm, 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 mmm. I might need to look at context here. That's right, we need the nasalized vowels too. Uh, I'm, I'm adding the nasalized vowels to the, uh, to the chart here. Uh, Cutting cheesecake straight out of an ice block. <laughs> so are we just are we gonna gnaw on it? Yeah, just wait till I enter all the fouls. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this disaster. Oh, I yeah, absolutely... I didn't do all the uh, nasal variants and all that. Yeah, I'm doing it now. Okay, and then nasalize schwa. Okay. All right, so our total number of vowels, if you include the nasalized vowels, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. English, remember, has like, what, 14? And we have like the most vowels? Because we don't have the most vowels. We have too many. 
admit it, we have too many. <laughs> but the one, you know, there are right. languages with more. Yeah. Are you ready? Are we going to eat it that way? Well, we should still eat it over the plate. Okay, we'll just... Cheers. Okay, here we go. Clink. <laughs> oh, I got some of your cheesecake. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. That's frozen. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it good. Mm. 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 Danish. Doesn't Danish have, like, three consonants and, like, two vowels? What? There's just like, you know, like Danish, you just basically don't pronounce anything. On fire with the snark today. Mm. Oh, you just mm. dropped. Mm. Mm. Hence the, should we do this over the plate? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Don't you worry. Yeah. Now the stream is going to stop for 10 minutes as David almost elbows me to make sure he resists every... Mm. i got to get all the little bits. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to try to use a fork. Nope, don't do it. No cheesecake, no cry. No cheesecake, no cry. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. Wait, with an egg custard topping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was an awkward view. <laughs> mm. But I want to try an egg custard topping as well. Yeah, anime fan, it is a substitute today for Copico because we mm -hmm. we forgot it on this trip, and this was a long trip. So I don't like eggs, and I don't like custard. Do you think I would like egg custard? Yes. Hmm. Uh -huh. No, I don't know. If you don't like custard, that's the bigger issue. Because the egg is just how it's made. Did you want to try this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. It is basically just pudding, but he's not a fan of pudding. Hate pudding. I am though. Hmm. Look how, look how much calmer the dogs are. Because <laughs> you guys are home. People walking all over that grass. They probably went inside the house to call people over. Come look at our grass. You can walk around on it. Grass you can walk around on? I'll be right there. So weird. Look at them. Stomping all over. Okay. I think I'm making a mess mm -hmm. on my mouth. Yeah. No, you're chocolate. fine. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, whoa, Miles, you eat raw eggs? What on earth for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't worry, I'll give you the plate to lick clean. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. Kopiko is much faster. Mm-hmm. We love you, True Art. <laughs> Sorry. It's making myself hungry just talking about it. Hey, up. Forgotten City. What's that? Where is that? I assume it's a video game. Have you guys heard of Forgotten City? They have their headphones on. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. So this great valve squish. We gotta do some stuff. What is Bokum about? What? Jake. Looks like Korean. 
Mm. I think we, um, I think we Romanize it differently here. I don't think you had it. Remember, at Berkeley. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Grendel, check out the album Nonagon Infinity. It's one of the best albums I've ever heard. Jesse's eventually going to hear it. It's on our list. Huh? Mm hmm. Huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe we can lure a cat up with this plate. Mm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Yep. Hope you have cheesecake. Would be Ooh, really good. coffee cheesecake. Okay. Yeah, there are lots of albums that loop in on it on themselves. So like. Um, you know, The Wall by Pink Floyd is one of them. Um, uh, oh gosh, everything's better than Remain in Light by the Talking Heads. This is probably something you would rather not know about me, uh, many, but Talking Heads is just instantly change the station whenever I hear them. Instantly. Kind of like Queen. Ugh. Can't abide it. Creedence Clearwater Revival, same. Yep. And I love them. Mm hmm. And mm. so one time I, I purposefully left it on the channel because I was mad that you changed it the last time it had been on. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm looking at Forgotten City because I didn't even see the comment. And now I'm. Mm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Queen, it's like, mm. can't do it. Yeah. Minnie's like, I know. That's why I said that. Oh, oh, we got Red already talked about that? I guess so. Talking Heads rarely come up. I will say, though, I saw their, uh, their movie, True Stories. Hilarious. Absolutely loved it. That was good. Um, uh, the only songs I know that was performed by the Talking well, there's also, like, Psycho Killer and, uh, This is my life. Yeah. I think a cat. Oh, that's once in a lifetime. There. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was just seeing if anything came flying across the room. But... Okay. I'm ready to squish some bowels. Um, yeah. So, so obviously there's going to be some big stuff happening with the mid vowels because there's too much going on. We had discussed nasal spreading I don't know, we still want to do that do we like across the word yeah so like this is presuming that we have some suffixes here so let's say that we had you know santa being a word become uh so. um uh become well we're being lazy with the uh We're being lazy with the A vowel and we can't be. So that would become a son ta. Wait, did we? Right. We said before L, R, and R. Before the R's and the L's, but we didn't do before the nasals, did we? Uh, I believe we did. Pre-nasal neutralization. Certain vowels change their quality oh. before nasal quotas. Low vowels raise. Yeah, you're right. And you're high right. vowels lower. But they, uh, huh. Nasal quotas were lost, resulting in nasalized vowels. Now, this is interesting. We had them raise all the way. Did we intend that? Um... That's a good question. I don't think we should have. 
I don't think they should have raised all the way. Can, can. Well, hmm. That's right, they did jump up in English, didn't they? So we went from bang to bang, not bang. But we went from bomb to bomb and not boom. Hmm. What do you think? Um, I honestly the ash to the a. I don't know. I feel like it should be because at this point we have. See you later, too, Art. Thanks for stepping in. Yeah. We have enough vowels at this point. It it seems to make more sense that it would. Only raise to like an eh. You got it. But then is it still gonna then lower? High vowels are gonna lower, which matches what happened up above with the uvular? Um yes. Okay. Oh, did true art leave? Yeah. Oh, hi guys. Oh I'm like waving to my camera. Okay, so then let's. So then the question is like, first, if we were gonna have nasal spreading happen and happen, mm -hmm. would it become? Let me get this up here. Would it mm -hmm. become? So, that is one good-looking cheesecake, Jake. Uh, or. So. Uh, So that's question one about Santa. nasal spreading. Santa, Santa, Santa. So basically, Santa. this vowel never existed, but if we're gonna have nasal spreading, it could. Santa. Hmm. I don't know. How are you feeling? Should we do a poll or something? Um, yeah, I, I will say though that I, this poll will be binding on this, but it, we're not, I'm not sold on us doing any nasal spreading. Um, just like, this is just like if we do it. Um, Enochian isn't a full conling. It's just, you know, a, a garbage thing that some guy did. So did you want me to, though, create a little poll just to see what is the preferences? Yeah. Here, I'll do, um, so everybody can see it. Is just giving us a, another example here. And you want these two options, not oh no spread. Like it's like we're trying to decide between those two, right? Yeah, and these two. I, I okay. was just I was just trying to give multiple examples. Basically, that you know, we it'd be like a second round of, of nasal neutralization, but it'd be like, well, we don't have this nasal vowel, so. Um, let's do another one. Um, Again, these are just some examples. There are plenty of others that you can imagine. 
basically the question is, are we going to have our usual, you know, complement of vowels that can be nasalized, or um, are we going to have a, a specific and narrower n set of nasal vowels? Okay. Oops. I'm trying to word it well. Yeah, it'll be like uh, if there's, um, and basically if there's a nasal vowel that's a, a subject, uh, a result of nasal spreading, and a suffix, you can have any vowel, uh, or, and, and then there'll only be special uh, nasal vowels in roots, or it'll be like there's only a nasal set of vowels, and so no matter what, it'll get uh, neutralized. Miles is asking what could block a nasal. Uh, H. Um, and did you like how I worded the question? Which is your preference for this non-binding poll about nasal spreading? Yes. I wanted to make sure it's preference and non-binding. Yeah, I like that. Mm, nice. Okay. Yeah, I saw Jake saying that by you. Bye. <laughs> All right. And then I, of course, just put in one example in the poll. So let me know if that wasn't clear what which option is which that you're voting for. Yeah. But they limit but, me on, on how much I can type in the poll options. Yeah. But uh, the real question that we're going to have here is... Uh, Is going to be ultimately become because we don't have intervocalic voicing, right? Mm -hmm. Don't think so. <gasps> oh no, David, that was on the plate. So do you need uh oh, to it how, did... how? I don't know, but how did I get it? Maybe it was when I was sawing. Maybe, because I don't see anything on the bottom of the plate. Okay. So I'm going to get up here in a minute and clean off. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vote because it's very clear. And so here's the end of the poll. Okay. There is a very clear preference for having a smaller set of nasal vowels hmm. rather okay. than having all vowel qualities. Okay. Nasalize. Well, that's, uh, that'll make things simpler, so let's um, delete those. So this will be if and only if. And then do you want to hand me that plate and I'll just go ahead and take it? I think so. It certainly does make things simpler. This language the auxiliary goes first. What's that? And he was asking where the auxiliary goes in a VOS language, it goes first. Um, okay. So, what was your, your glottal question? Glottal can cause nasalization. Hmm. Um, so this is a this is what we're going to have to deal with here. So we have this situation, um, and we might want to talk about stress because I think that stress is either going to have to be hard initial or hard final. Hmm. You leaning one way or the other? No. Um. Okay. 
Oh, and then Matase was asking BOS has aux first and SOB usually has aux last, right? Yeah. So are we thinking Gascaremali or Gascaremali? Do you have a preference? What's this thing? There we go. Gascaremali? Hmm. Gascaremali. Hmm. I can make another poll. If you don't have a preference, I say sure. You um, can get input. Let's let's see what our, our viewers like. Do you have preference? Uh, Miles has a strong opinion. I don't. Uh, dark horse French is reputedly a language without stress. Shouldn't that be fineal stress? <laughs> there we go. There we go. All, All right. right, so now we're going to find out what they think. Because, like, I think I have an opinion, but I also am not 100% sure. Maracuya, oh, maracuya, maracuya, maracuya. I think all the sugar just made me hungrier. Hmm? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like done for the day. I don't need to eat anymore. Okay, well, you can just get me food then. Mm. Mm. Matthias is asking French if it's final stress. The official word on French is that basically the loss of final vowels and then final consonants just removed all the situations where stress existed and so uh, instead of there being lexical like stress or stress at the word level there is instead kind of like intonation that's at the phrasal level and that uh, it does kind of rise at the end but it, in terms of like you know an actual multisyllabic polysyllabic word you can pretty much stress it anywhere and it doesn't matter. Okay, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. um, hey, Megan. <clears throat> Gosh, I'm going on like a sugar crash already. Uh huh. Uh, I'm going to take a little nap. Yeah. Um, and Dark Horse, I don't know if you were here earlier, um, but I did. I, I wanted to make sure we all remember. Happy birthday in advance to Dark Horse, whose birthday is this week. In between the in between the streams. Yes. Right on. Happy birthday, Dark Horse. Always a pleasure. Uh, I uh, cupcake parade. I see that you meant to hit initial when you meant final, but um, I don't think. It yeah, matters. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I think um, we have a winner. <laughs> I think a cat is opening a cupboard in there. Did you hear the? Yeah, he's probably just searching around for food. It's fine. You have chosen wisely. <laughs> Bib, not of approval. Well done. Oh, wait, I'm totally off camera. I can just I can Oh, you just are? Chill. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, where is... Uh, that's right. In between the streams <laughs> is Minnie's new smooth jazz album. <laughs> Love it. Um, but yes, dress is somewhere up there. Baracacha. Hmm. Here's a one out of word for cat. Oh, that's wonderful. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> well, it's going to be down below all the romanization notes. 
Yeah, wait a minute. Does Indiana Jones get to live forever? Because, like, he drunk from the cup. Well, he aged. Yeah. In between movies. And so keep going down because then we get orthography. Oh, we don't need this. And then there's a phono tactic. Right there. Stress. Uh, stress is uniformly on the first syllable of a word for a long time. Where exceptions occur, they will be marked with an acute accent. Maybe. Will Bryant says Dr. Jones is not pure of heart. Mm. Megan says that maybe he'd have to keep drinking from him. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get rid of that. Back to this. So we got this situation here. Mm-hmm. Keta. Keta. I think, well, they're going to get squished, right? Yeah, but they got to get squished to somewhere. So then we also have, so for example, it's going to become kata. That's going to become kata. And then, uh, so that's the low part, right? And then the, where's the, we have these guys. Where's the glide thingy? Not that. Oh, like those, this one? Or? Those just become pure. Right, okay. So basically, this vowel exists in only this place. And then we have things like Kita. Well, I think the, oh wait, it's, uh, I, I guess whichever vowel occurs in more locations is the one that would end up. Silvertail, I can't wait either. It is going to be super interesting to see what happens once we actually get these words. Yeah. So this is like, uh, this is problem number one. And by the way, you can replicate all of this with the back vowels. Problem number two is this. And we didn't do anything with those yet? Nope, not yet. Got to do something with them. You haven't killed them yet? Nope. That's this is part. This is the bow squoosh. Yeah. Uh, Kel Kelta becomes Kelta. Um, see. Uh, and the L doesn't go anywhere. So we allow that. Um, so like. Would you consider keeping a schwa? Mm. Only if you had a really good plan for it. What's your plan? Just asking if you'd consider it before we even thought about it. Because it just seems odd to me that a schwa would end up essentially becoming fortified in an unstressed syllable. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about the stressed syllable. No, that's fine. Um, but like, if we're going to kill the schwa, say, at the end of kelta, having it fortify when ke is the stressed syllable. Well, that's, I mean, that's going to be, that's going to be part of the vowel harmony. We don't need to worry about things okay. at the end. I was just throwing that on so that there wasn't a distraction. Mm -hmm. um, gotcha. 
so uh, we might have to make this the patron poll. Here are some options. So option one would just be um, and uh, merges a, uh, and then all and o merges o and um er. <laughs> and then the other one how do you do the other one? Oh, just like that merge as that would a and would e and e stay yeah okay um, do we want to make part of this what happens to the central vowels? Mid vowel squoosh. Um, no. Uh, that's going to be a separate thing. Option okay. two, mid vowel um, spread. And then I have this chart pulled up here in case you needed to remember. Uh, this is mid vowel spread one. Um, and Jake, I'm not sure if he'll end up regretting something like option one. Um, it does neutralize the uvular velar distinction on the vowels, but it also does. part of our goal was to essentially neutralize a lot of things because then um, that that gives impetus for the vowel harmony where we're going to end up killing a lot of distinctions across the vowel harmony anyway. Jesus, I don't know what would happen to that thing. Probably turn it to schwa or something. Uh... But um, no, I see what you're saying, and this these aren't going to be necessarily, you know, the, the the final things here. But this is just step one of a squoosh. I'll spread to this. This is a mid vowel. Uh, this, this would be a chain, right? So mm -hmm. then. Yeah, I think, I don't think you have a specific vowel harmony in mind. No. Um, Jake is saying scroll down, please. Ooh, yeah. Let me see the uh, vowel chart again. Mm-hmm. So we do have, then the nasal counterparts will just get taken care of naturally. I'm going to take a look at this option four. See how it feels. Low vowel raising. Then move as a potential chain, or hold on a sec. Mm -hmm. Then mm 
and uh, this is only when stressed. Jake's asking about the back ah. Uh, does it centralize and then become neutral in the harmony? No. I mean, it might centralize, but it's not neutral. Not neutral at all. Boy, this is a strange one. Um, because essentially then you would have these pairs. Right, and then um, When you say pairs, you mean that they would all exist or that they're going to shift somewhere? And then, then you'd have up top and E would be neutral. Does everybody see what, I, what what's happened here? So essentially, here, these are minus ATR plus ATR. This is uh, front is ATR? advanced tongue root. And this is neutral. Uh, Advanced tongue root is used to distinguish between a and e, e and e, uh, o and o, and u and e. Um, also, u and u. Um, uh, advanced tongue root is also often used to di distinguish between a and e. So that, that is schwa and uh, a, the low vowel. So uh, Jake was right to ask if this thing was going to centralize. It did, but not that it would be neutral. It was going to pair with schwa. So I would pair with schwa, but then schwa has become a. What about the ash? Does that not pair with anything? No, because it just moved to a. Eh. Only if in that option, though. Yeah. Oh, this is all option This is four. all one option. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like across the board. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, okay, so those go together. Yeah. I'm starting to, I think, see what's happening. So this one, uh, I understood why he was asking if I would end up regretting this one, because basically it just levels all the distinctions that we made. Um, But here's what could happen. Oh, and also just you keep going. But Cupcake Parade, sorry, I didn't see you asked to scroll down too. I just saw Jake's comment, and so I just want you to know I, I, I see yours now. So uh, I usually see the one closest to the bottom. So this one, yeah, it would eliminate a lot of the distinctions, but let me show you how we can make it fun. Because, of course, we're looking at two separate environments. One is what happens in roots. And then the other one is what happens in suffixes. Um, because, of course, what would happen, like the reason that this would exist is uh, basically either U or U would front after front vowels to U, right? Or it would the U would back to U after back vowels, or, yeah, back. 
and then E would just be neutral um, everywhere. It's that mm and ooh that would move around. Um, so now for this one, let's 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 tease apart what could happen here. We'll make this one purple. So with this one, after vowels, um, you would have um, height. So uh, this would be, I guess, plus low versus minus low. So you would have um, a uh, alternating with a. And then, yeah, a uh, alternating with o. And then whatever happens to schwa alternating with um, this. Uh, we didn't specify what would happen with these um, the way we did in this one. But yeah, basically that height alternation would exist. Uh, and then we could further have um, E alternating with A, right? No, no, wait, good, but we, that's right, we, we merged them, we merged them, I'm sorry, we merged them. So it's just those. What about the, um, the rounded, would that alternate with anything that you... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I'm wondering if these, this one would even be included. Because we had these merge and we had these merge. Right. Yeah. But the thing is, they would still be this in environments where they would get pushed one way or the other. So maybe this, it would just be those. It would just be that low vowel alternation. Um, oh boy, this is going to require some thought. Because we, I think ultimately we need to decide what happens. Uh, with schwa and bard eye. And Cupcake Parade is wondering if you will keep a central vowel this time around. Will your beloved cat language have any central vowels? No, all the central vowels are going to be gone. Absolutely obliterated and destroyed. The dog language is going to have one. Rough. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. And so with this one, uh, let, let me just tease, tease apart this one, because I think this one is going to be much simpler. Uh, basically, we have um, high, mid, uh, low. So we'll have um, E, A. Jake says we must always remember uh. Schwalar Marthulius. <laughs> and then also U, O, um, A. But then, mm, mm, I'm very uncomfortable with this one. Because, yeah, because like, what does what does E lower to? Ah. But then it could just be like anything else. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't have a reflex. Plenty of plenty of languages are like that. Okay, so Miles asks a good question. I think though you had mentioned this would be in the stressed syllables, um, but Miles said, could the environments where the squishing, spreading, raising be clarified? Is this everywhere? Yeah, it's everywhere. Um, this stuff is okay the stuff on top means in roots this stuff is teasing out what would happen in suffixes so roots suffixes um, and here i think what would have to happen is that there's nowhere for air to go and so it just becomes that 
and so this is what the um, this is what the vowel harmony would look like for this one. It's very neat, very simple, um, right? Oh, sorry, Silvertail's comment: the destruction of central vowels too. Airing in languages near you now. <laughs> So yeah, this is just height harmony, which is which is something I like. Um, and then let's see this one, Take this green. What would the difference here be? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Would it end up being the same? Just no. in the opposite direction? Mm -mm. Um. Hmm. The, well, I'll tell you what makes most sense to my mind is that you have this funky pattern where sometimes you have e alternating with E and sometimes neutral E. And then the same thing here. Sometimes you have O alternating with U and then sometimes you have neutral O. Um, and... Uh, Hmm. When this gets written up for a poll, I really feel like we're going to need to just like make up a root and a suffix to just showcase like five suffixes that are really the same, just with different vowels. Yeah. Um, so to showcase like what you mean by all these shifts, because it's like theoretically I get what you're doing, but like it's hard for me to envision. So this one would be. Um uh, minus high versus plus high, but then there would also be neutral ones, which would be e, o, and e, and then the other vowels too. Um, and it would depend on whether they came from this or this. So in other words, the tense ones participate in harmony, and then these don't, and so you'd end up having to memorize which suffixes participated in the harmony, which didn't. I don't think that's likely. I think we got to get rid of this option. But the top one doesn't run that risk. The option to no. make vowels spread flying. Yeah, I think we have to get rid of this option. Um, actually, uh, I'm curious. Can you just put a poll... Um, and say, um, I, I think I want more options than you can have. You can only have four, right? I think so. Because um, I want to ask, like, which one to eliminate. I'm seeing if, yeah, there's no more add options. Just do a two then. Keep all four and eliminate one. Option three does feel like Vel Harmony Light. Um, Yeah, so Silvertail, um, I think uh, Silvertail's also brought up a good point, which is that um, it's always possible that they generalize the rules later. And so even if it starts off... So you want to, either we're going to use all four, we're going to delete one of these options, or the two that we're voting on here. Yeah. And then we'll do a runoff poll after that? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
And so Keras is pointing out that some Bantu languages uh, or some verbal suffixes with the same vowels alternate due to height harmony and others don't. I actually know about one such, one such instance. So the, the language that uh, we did our, um, our, our, you know, our, our in-depth study on was called uh, Theto Gavala, in, it's from Sudan. And it had very uh, a very aggressive and very simple height harmony. It was e, i, a, a, and u, o, and it showed up all over the place. And it was very very simple. But then there was like um, there was a schwa that was just like inserted between vowels that was always schwa. Uh, and there was a suffix. Uh, there were two suffixes, ano and nano, that always had those vowels. So it'd be like, you know, um, o banano, which would be like, you know, on or at or with the woman, and ujinano, which would be on or at or with the uh, man. And it didn't matter that they had different vowels. It was always nano. Um, but all the other suffixes would alternate. So you had, you know, ikuji inside the man and ikoba in the woman. Got here. Yeah, we're going to delete one of the options. Um, it is winning right now, yes. Oh, but um, that's actually a narrow margin with not many votes. Yeah, um, so I'm waiting to see if more people end up voting. By the way, uh, Karis, if you want to pass along, because um, uh, we haven't decided if we're going to do the nasalization spreading yet or not, um, if you want to pass along a... Uh, a resource. I'd love to take a look at it before next week. Um, have I been cut off the whole time? <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, All right. 14. I mean, it's still really close, but we're almost at all the votes. And yeah, if we're we want, almost out of time. If we want to give them time to actually say or if we want to discuss what will get cut, or is that something we'll just decide yeah. before? Yeah, no, I'm thinking that I wanted to have some, some fun vowel harmony, and option three does feel too light to me for what I was hoping for. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this. Yeah. Yeah, because now we have the same number. So I'm going to delete option three. Interesting idea. Um, and are um, you still happy with option one? Well, I'm going to tease out and see if there's anything else that would happen. Okay. Feels like that's the only thing that would happen. a lot of neutral vowels. Oh, for option one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Because that means where they're not in pairs, everything else would be neutral. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that does feel like option one needs some finessing. Maybe some extra details or some extra something or other. Oh, Jake is asking if rounding harmony could be added to option one. Oh, right. <sighs> That's why, because we didn't decide what to do with uh and uh yet. And also, Keras is asking, so like some papers on nasal spreading or something, I think, in yeah, response sure. to you. Um, And then Miles says, I 
I know raising a to e and a to o for option one is likely off the table, but wanted to just throw it out just in case. I mean, that presumably that is what's happening at one stage, but then o and o merge. So uh, that's why there's the alternation that you see there. Um, now with uh, now with the possibility of schwa. Um, I think it would become A, O, or E. Okay. Jake is asking about the dreaded back unrounded vowel. No, we're not going to do that. Um, hmm. 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 So, yeah, then there's what happens with schwa. Okay, well, this may be something that we need to stare at off the stream mm -hmm. as it is past the end. Yeah, actually, because I think that this should be that too. Mm. Yeah. Getting all sorts of options here. Yeah. I'm afraid so. Are you afraid so? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right. We'll... So so patron G will have something to vote on. Yeah. Related to this, with roughly these potential maybe options <laughs> um, but we thank you for joining us next week we'll be back in our normal location with our jar of Copico mm -hmm. and we are excited to be reunited with it yeah and so we will see you as normal um, and yeah we will See you next week. Anything else we need to add? No, I don't oh, think so. Oh, no, there is one thing we do need to add. Um, patrons, our podcast episode is likely going to be late. And yeah, so, we're not going to be home before the first, so um, we're gonna, you'll yeah. get one. Don't worry, you'll get one in So May. you will get one for May. It just won't be May 1st, um, and so just heads up on that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stay grammar, everyone. Oh, wrong, wrong camera. Bye. Stay grammar. <laughs>